I'm Julia Pique and welcome to Motorsport Reports. In Formula One, Felipe Massa believes former team Williams is paying the price for putting money first in some of its decisions for this year, although he hopes the team can bounce back soon. Speaking to Motorsport.com at last weekend's Rome Formula E race, Massa said, All I can say is that I came out with my head held high. I have a good relationship with everyone at the Grove and I hope that the best for the team comes out as soon as possible. But I can add that I'm happy to have made my decision last year. When asked if, based on Williams' current struggles, his retirement from Formula One was perfectly timed, he said, yes, I chose the right time and now I'm enjoying my life. I hope Williams can recover. Williams earned increased revenues in 2017 compared to the previous season, but CEO Mike O'Driscoll has stressed that Liberty's long-term plans to level the playing field are key to the squad's future prospects. Pointing out that Williams was the only team outside the Big Three to score a podium finish in 2017, O'Driscoll said this illustrates the large gap in competitive expenditure between the leading teams and the rest of the grid. We are hopeful that Liberty Media's long-term vision for the future of the sport can deliver a more level playing field on which all teams can compete more fairly. And in MotoGP, the debate over penalties has been reignited following a controversial Argentine Grand Prix where reigning champion Marc Marquez was punished for clashes with Alex Espargaro and Valentino Rossi. Jorge Lorenzo believes the blame for aggressive riding lies with series officials rather than riders, as the current sanctions are not a sufficient enough deterrent, saying in a dangerous sport we need to protect the rider. One thing is to be crazy when you are making one lap and you are alone, but when you are putting other riders at risk it's a complete different story, and the referee or the race direction should penalize strongly these actions. That's it for today's headlines, I'm Julia Piquet and see you next time.